Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of A Week in Geekdom. Invisible Geo here, you can just see my hand right there. We're doing another haul video for the month of April. This is actually pretty interesting because I kind of went a little crazy in some areas. Unfortunately, a massive package of books did not arrive, but there's still some good stuff here that I can geek out over, you guys can enjoy, and if you want me to review any of that stuff, leave those comments down below. As always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and help with the YouTube algorithm and all that nonsense. We're gonna start a little bit out of order. I'm not a huge amiibo collector, but I got this bad boy, the Banjo-Kazooie uh, amiibo. I don't really collect the line. I just have uh, Joker, the hero, uh, a couple Metroids, Toon Link, and this bad boy. That's it. So with that out of the way, let's get into manga, because I know that you guys like to see the manga haul, right? Uh, not a whole lot. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, big package, not arrived, uh, containing a lot of cool stuff that uh, came out in the month of April that a lot of people are excited to read. Um, but I did get some stuff that I'm excited to check out, right? And that's what matters. Let's start with uh, Viz, manga from Viz Media. Here we have My Hero Academia Volume 27, looking really awesome. I love this cover. Here we see the back. Another one of my favorites here is Dr. Stone Volume 16, looking really awesome. I love this volume in particular, and where the story is headed after this is so ridiculous. I absolutely love it. That's the stuff I want to read when I check out uh, Dr. Stone. Here we have uh, Demon Slayer Volume 21. We're two more volumes away from ending this whole thing. I actually have been waiting patiently to read this uh, physically, so I don't know how the series ends. I've avoided spoilers so far, so yay me. Uh, so yeah, this volume was really awesome. All the fights and stuff, really enjoyed that. And a uh, new series, uh, for me at least, because this was released a while back. Um, I saw volume two at my nearest Walmart and thought, you know what? Why not? I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> it's something I, I've been wanting to collect. I love uh, manga based on video games, so I went ahead and picked up uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Volume 2 and ordered this right away from the seller on eBay, I believe, uh, for dirt cheap. Really excited to uh, dig into this, looking really awesome. Really going to enjoy reading uh, Twilight Princess in manga format. Only one uh, Viz Media hardcover manga arrived. Um, next month you should see a lot more, unfortunately, just the one book, and it is Sunny from Taiyo Matsumoto, Volume 2. That awesome finish and construction of that book and that wonderful art. Really excited about this. Now I can probably read it, because last time I showed you Volume 1 and Volume 3, so now I can go ahead and, um, get started on this series and make a proper review video for the channel about Sunny. So let's take this out and load it up with more manga. All right, last time, last haul, I showed you that I got into the uh, famous world of Gantz and this is no exception. I picked up the rest of the Omni editions, the Omnibus. So that's volume four and volume five right there. I am still missing volume two which is still out of stock as of the recording of this video. And I did pre-order volume six, which comes out late May, 2021. Uh, but yeah, nonetheless, I'm really excited about it. I, like I mentioned earlier in the previous haul videos, I know what happens in all of Gantz that was spoiled to me, but this will be my first read through for the actual series. Hopefully I don't show something that's too not safe for work, but these monster dinos look really, Really badass. I don't mind the big chunky editions. I prefer it that way, to be honest. I know a lot of people would prefer like oversized hardcover treatment and all that stuff, but I'm good with that. Next up, a classic from Makoto Yukimura. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to check out for a while. It's a shame that the anime is not available on Blu-ray because that's something that I also want to own for my collection. But here is the, I believe they're also omnibus editions of Planets. Here's volume one. And oh, let's put it over here. 
And here is volume two. I said that right. Planets, right? <laughs> probably not, because it's me. I will probably review this at some point, because I'm trying to beef up the review sections for manga in this channel and cover sort of like the, the famous works, if you will. So yeah, look forward to this sometime soon. All right, let's uh, wipe away this slate and bring you some more goodness. Well, uh, yeah, that's not gonna fit. Here's Berserk, Deluxe Edition, Volume 7. Um, yeah, this is a chunky boy. And as you can see, wonderful artwork, wonderful panels, wonderful story. I've already read all of this, but it's so cool to see it in oversized format. In all its bloody, morbid glory from Kentaro Miyuda. So yeah, Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 7. So that's it for the manga. Uh, let me show you a couple anime. Just two movies. Um, a couple of months ago I picked up Violet Evergarden, the complete series. So I found for cheap uh, the movie. Violet Evergarden, Eternity, and the Auto Memory Doll. Right there. Fortune, unfortunately, uh, I do not have the digital code on that one, so I do apologize. I usually like to give those away, but uh, this was a pre-owned copy. And last but not least, I know, trust me, I know, it's not, it's not the greatest movie, but I already own all of the Studio Ghibli stuff on Blu-ray, so I had to do it as well and get uh, Earwig and the Witch, so yeah. I know uh, some people uh, hate this movie, and uh, they've made it abundantly clear on YouTube how much they hate it with video essays and all that fancy stuff on how much they hate it, and like, Goro Miyazaki should just stay away from making these movies or whatnot. But hey, I mean, they're doing something that I wish I could do. I wish I could create a movie um, and all that stuff, but nonetheless, um, I like the character designs. Not the animation per se, but... It's, it's, it's all right, you know, it's not the best, but you know, I've seen worse. So that's it for anime. Let's see what else. All right, let's take these off and show you guys real time. Uh, Cause I do get graphic novels, comics, all that fun stuff. Here is a recommendation from my buddy, Omnidog, Sarah and the Royal Stars from Vault Comics. I have no idea what this is about, but he said it was awesome and that, and that I would like it. And uh, yeah, it looks really cool. I have not read it yet, but here is, again, the cover for volume one. Uh, does it fit here? No, it does not, yay. <laughs> and here is the cover for volume two. Originally, I wasn't going to get it, but then again, it completes the trilogy and I can finish off that series. It is Wonder Woman Earth One, volume three from Grant Morrison and Yannick Paquet and Nathan Fairbairn. Uh, this is, I, I think I have one video on this, on the first volume on this channel. It's a reimagining set in Earth 1 of the DC continuity. It's a different Earth than the main one that you're used to, so Wonder Woman and everybody else acts uh, totally different, but kind of similar. But yeah, here is the finale of that series with Volume 3. And finally, I'm a huge Hellboy fan, specifically BPRD, so I had to pick up the final hardcover, BPRD, The Devil You Know, which uh, it's not, I mean, they're still pumping out books, but this is, chronologically speaking, this is the last story and wraps everything up. I can't wait to read this to see how it ends. I stopped at uh, the beginning of Hell on Earth, so now I can do a proper read through and check out all of the uh, main stories of BPRD. All right, guys. I went a little crazy. Aside from all the fun stuff that you just saw, I went a little nuts when it comes to video games. I've made a realization. I don't really care about the Xbox Series X, S, Y, W, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care about the PlayStation 5. I'm content being a Nintendo Switch collector. So I went through some YouTube videos of different retro gamers, modern gamers, any gamer, I don't know, and they were listing their favorite Switch games in their collections, showing off the physical media. That's what I like, physical media. 
even though I do get digital games, but for the most part, 95% uh, of my collection is all physical. Um, yeah, I went a little bit crazy, added a bunch of titles there. The list is still there. There are a bunch of titles that I have not gotten yet, but this is the part one of filling out the Nintendo Switch library. That's a lot of games, for my budget at least. But here is all that fun stuff. Um, here we have the Shantae collection with the slipcovers released by Limited Run Games. I don't have all the Shantae games, I'm missing one, but this is really cool. So yeah, love the artwork on this. Here on the spine, you see the five different games that have been released. I have the logo right there. And inside are four of the games, which I'll show you right now. I mean, I've already, a couple months back, I showed you that I already owned these two. But the new additions, along with the slipcover, is of course the original Shantae for the Game Boy Color, remastered or uh, ported over to the Switch, I guess. And here is Shantae, Risky's Revenge, Director's Cut. I believe this was a DSiWare game. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. The only game I'm missing um, is Pirate's Curse, which came out on the Vita, I think, 3DS, and Switch. That is ridiculously expensive online, going from 80, and that's even lucky, if you're lucky enough, I should say, to find it for 80 bucks to like 130, 150, something like that for the entire, uh, for the game, I should say. So yeah, $35 game when it came out, I guess, for the Switch. Not going to spend 150 for that, hopefully, because we did get a reprint for the fourth game. Hopefully it happens and we get Pirate's Curse on, uh, you know, a second printing, I guess of that game. All right, so let's go through this stack of uh, Switch games from the oldest to the latest. All right, let's see. First, we have Hades from Supergiant. This game's amazing. I'm terrible at it, but it's amazing. I love it. I die pretty quickly and I'm pretty terrible playing it, but I have fun regardless. Um, I already had this digitally and I double dipped. I usually don't do that because it had the stupid little pamphlet thing, not this. The pamphlet with character artwork. Um, they haven't released a hardcover of the art of Hades, but this is the next best thing. And probably when they release the art book, I'll be uh, getting that as well. Let's move Shantae over there. This is a game in a series that I really like, but I've never owned. Uh, I, I played it on PS2. I played even the mobile games. It is Katamari Damacy Reroll. PS1 classic that I finally own again. I remember owning it and playing it on my original PlayStation. The Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I've only played the first one, never played the second and third game, so I'm really excited about that. Now this next game, I love uh, arcade games, shooters, um, you know, the, the uh, fighting games, beat-em-ups. I love action platformers and all that fun stuff. That, that, that's usually where I uh, uh, spend most of my time when I'm playing video games and, you know, your Nintendo stuff and whatnot, the uh, original IPs and whatnot. But one of the other things I really like is pinball. On my Switch, I have Pinball uh, FX3 with all the tables and all that stuff, and that's sufficient for what I want. However, I had to get the Stern Pinball Arcade for the Switch because Stern Pinball, you know, they're the uh, head honchos with a lot of moolah, and they're not going to appear at the Pinball FX3 so I wanted to play their classic uh, tables such as Star Trek, Mustang, uh, Harley Davidson, Last Action Hero, uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, stuff like that, which it's emblematic of Stern Pinball. Now, the one thing 
because uh, you might be thinking, well, you should get it digitally to match with the FX3. And that's true, but um, I kind of wanted this because of the ACDC table. They lost the license for it digitally, and the only way you can play that table on your console is by getting the physical edition, whether it's Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, or Xbox One, or whatever it may be. You can only play that physically. So I had to get it. Uh, this is an indie game. It looked interesting, looked really cool. Found it for a, a really cheap price. It is Owlboy. I love the cover on that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this. This is something that I've always wanted to play for years. I played, I'm, I'm gonna admit it, I played a ROM of it in high school or yeah, high school? Yeah, it's been a while, folks. And uh, I always wanted to own the games, and I was close to getting them for the DS, but I remembered that this was available on the Asian market, so I got this from Play Asia, imported it. It is the uh, Ace Attorney 123 collection, so I'm really excited to own this, and there's a new one coming out that I already have pre-ordered. So it'll go great with this. For my birthday last year, 2020, one of the things I wanted to get were the Mega Man Legacy Collections. I already had Mega Man 11. So I wanted to get every Mega Man game available for the Switch. So of course I got Mega Man 11, got the uh, Legacy Collections, and I've had to get this. I was missing the Mega Man Zero ZX Legacy Collection. Really cool. I wasn't gonna <laughs> fetch the... Uh, GBA prices complete in box online so I went ahead and picked this up instead and this is a recent limited run order it's really cool that this already shipped because we're so used to the delays and waiting so long uh, for pre-orders from limited run and all that stuff so it was really nice to see the notification that it shipped and they, this was made available back in January it is the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World video game the complete edition Really cool. I only ordered the uh, base set, you know, comes with the little card, the concert ticket, and the manual, all that fun stuff. Oh, and of course, reversible cover right there. Look at that. I prefer this one. Classic homage to Sonic Adventure. And last but not least, um, another one of those classic arcade games that I've always wanted to own in some shape or form. This is a classic of the arcade era. It is the Dragon's Lair Trilogy on Switch. I wanted to get this on PS2, skipped on it. I wanted to get it on, I think the Wii had an edition of it, skipped it. And there were like two more editions I can't remember right now. So I settled on the Switch edition because, yeah, like I said, I'm collecting for the Switch. I'm really happy about this. I'm probably never going to own an original arcade. Um, arcade 1UP has the Dragon's Lair trilogy uh, cabinet that they're coming up with. I ain't got room for that, so I'm just happy with this. Also, if you go the ROM route, it's really difficult to emulate. Depends on what you're doing, and yeah, not gonna go that route. So with that Nintendo background there, that's the end of the haul. Uh, like I said, I was missing Actually, three shipments from Right Stuff with a ton of manga and anime. Um, so you'll see that in the next uh, haul video. But let me know what you thought. If you want me to review any of the manga and anime and all that stuff that I featured on this haul video, let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, it wouldn't be a haul video without some bloopers. And I actually remembered, I forgot to highlight one of the biggest purchases I've made this year so far. There it is, guys, the Oculus Quest 2. Yeah, I've been wanting to get this for a year and a half as of this video. I, I remember bothering my, my dad uh, constantly about all the VR stuff, and, and I really wanted to get into this. I, I love the idea, I love virtual reality, and this has not disappointed. I've only had it for a week as of this video, and it's been so much fun. I've, I've had a blast with this, just uh, playing the random games, 
all the freebies. I actually got some games and I actually do want to make more videos on this thing. Not on this channel, maybe on my uh, second gaming channel. Uh, the link is in the description below. So yeah, um, this has been a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for being a part of a week in geekdom, subscribing, commenting, all that fun stuff. If you're new here, I do content like this where I talk about all the hauls and of course going over uh, anime, comics, and manga reviews. So if you wanna help a brother out and subscribe and help out with the algorithm and all that stuff, I would very much appreciate it. That's it for me. I've gotta go. God bless, stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video. Thank you.